Hey guys, so Merry Christmas to all you guys. I um today is my second anniversary of my YouTube channel, so happy second anniversary. We're gonna go through some of my Christmas presents I got and it's pretty good. It's gonna be mostly about one topic. So let's reveal. And here is the first one. Is that is an eighteen seventy five twenty cent piece. This one is an PCGS 1884 O, Mint State 63 Morgan. Here's an 1881 uh, S Morgan dollar. Here's an American obsolete collection of coins from the 50s and 40s and 30s and 20s. Here is four five year sets. 93, 89, 71, 92, and 70. I think 1970 is the nicest one. Here are rainbows. The steak wars that are rainbows. Okay, let's go to this box. Here is a United States Mint Westward Journey nickel set, 2005 coin nickel set. Here you go. I'm only doing this with one hand. Here is a 1999 five state hook quarter dollar inaugural edition. Here's your certificate of offenses. They're colored. That's pretty nice. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in this box. So we're going to just dig it out. We're going to start digging in. Dig in, boys. Okay. We're going to go through this shit one by one. Sorry for my language. Okay. Here's 2007 Mint Edition Philadelphia State Quarter. Here's the Platinum Edition State Quarter Collection. Here's the Gold Edition. Let me see. This is this is the 2007 Denver Mint Edition. This is the 2008 Gold Edition State of the Quarters. Here's the first and last pennies of the 20th century. This is from, I think, 1999. Yeah, this set's from 1999. So, 19 oh, it's a 1900 Indian head and a 1999 Lincoln penny. So, that's 99 years of history. Remember our heroes. This is when um, the firefighters and police officers fought on 9-11 to take out the fire. But, sadly, they couldn't do it. And the Twin Towers fell. And they made a 9-11. They made a 9 -11. Shine it on there. They made a 9-11 coin. I really like that. Here is a 1911 Liberty Head Nickel. American Frontier. This is a 1904? Yeah, 1904 Lincoln uh, Indian Head. 1938 set of nickels. Last silver quarter and first state quarter. 1964 and 1999. That's when they were transferred to, uh, um, they transferred from silver to, I think, nickel. Here's 1936 American Frontier Buffalo nickel. Here's a Washington silver quarter mint set, 1944 Philly, 1948, 45 Denver, 1948 San Fran. So it's basically a World War II set. Basically a World War II and an after World War II set. Historic Americana series, Mississippi, Indiana, Louisiana, Ohio, Tennessee. Let's see what's on the back. And then I think the coins are in gold. Here's another one. This is ones in different colors. Historic Americana series, North, South Dakota, North Dakota, Colorado, Nebraska, Nevada. What's the next item? The 2015 PDS edition presidential dollars. Ooh, is this Lyndon Johnson? 
Yes. They are dollar coins from all three mints from 2015. It's about Lyndon Johnson. Yeah, that's four years old. Hey, okay. now we're going to the. Now we're going to just skip through. Those will be last. America's last silver coins the Kennedy, the dime, the quarter, and the 45 wartime silver nickel. So the last time they made nickels was in silver was in 45. That's going to be a, a special item coming up. Okay, yeah, that that item I just pushed aside to the left. Here's Buffalo Nickels, old and new. I like it. See, someone like put a roll of nickels, and instead of putting the old Buffalo Nickels in a roll, they put these and try to be sneaky. I watched a video, and it, I thought it was funny, but it was sneaky by the guy who like um sold the coin. Here's presidential dollars. Uh, this is the Louisiana Purchase. This is Lewis and Clark. Jefferson. Ocean and View. See how all they have Jefferson's face in there? Here is Presidential Dollars. And Buffalo Nickel with Jefferson's face on it. Okay. Next. We're going to pull out some state quarters. Okay, we got some state quarters with the stickers on them. We got a lot of them. I think they're all the states. Yep, and we have a few more sets of them. These, I haven't even bought it open, is more state quarters. Here is a very special item. So these are all state quarters, and I don't feel like cool. This are Red Seals from 1963. There's $40 in here. And then there's a burnt note, a burnt $1 note from 1923. It's burnt or it's, or it's heavily damaged. From like water or something. That's gotta be. It's gotta be burnt though. Uh, yeah. Hold on. This is probably one of my favorite Christmases ever. One of my favorites. Cause this is actually I never expected to receive all of this. I what I wanted for was an eighteen. I wanted this for Christmas. Only this. I only wanted this, and that was really expensive. I think it was about $400 or something. Yeah, it was $405. That's all I wanted for Christmas, and I expected, I think, about $3,000 in items. This is about three grand, or around that much. It's a lot of money. And then I'm going to give you something special to see. Uh, there's something very special you have to see. I actually received my first silver and gold nickel. Here's America's first silver penny and racketeer gold nickel. In 1883, the Liberty V nickel was first struck, but it was about the same size and weight as a $5 gold coin. Crooks gold-plated these nickels and passed them as $5 gold coins. Ooh, that's really sneaky now. A few years later in 1896, Democratic presidential candidate William Jennings Bryan tried to make a point in his campaign that the United States should be on the silver standard as well as the gold standard. We did go on the, the gold standard until um the one pres I don't know. His last name's Roosevelt, but I don't know his first name. So there's like two different Roosevelts. But um, we were, got rid of the gold standard in 33 because of the Depression. To illustrate this point, he had a silver-plated Indian head pennies that really. So these are plated. But, man, that was really sneaky. I didn't even know that, that these people were actually being this sneaky by, putting, by plating them. That's really sneaky now. That's really sneaky. It's one of my favorite sets.
but I never saw an actually never seen that actually happen until now. Okay, this is the only other thing that's outside of the coin. It's in night to 2017 Sidney Crosby figure of him hoisting the Stanley Cup. This is when Pittsburgh last won it. Actually a good figure, even though that doesn't look like him. But it's actually him holding the Stanley Cup in his hand. And that Stanley Cup looks much more clear than the 1806 coin. So, um, yeah. Okay, our next point is I'm going to go to the gold box last because there's a lot of shit in that box. Sorry about my language again. Okay. Here's the last the last coins of Europe. Spain, Portugal, France, Italy. I have to find out what year these is because this is a very old set. It says last year's. Last coins of Europe. These and they have actually some information, see? They actually give you an information book with them with the um punches on them, see? They give you a, like a, a a thing where they describe the country and crap. Uh, let's see. Certificate of fucking things. Could just recopy that and just cut it out. Uh, this is before 1996, I think. 98, 90, 67, 94. So this is be passing to, this is like a, a 17 year old set because the last coin's from 1999. So that's a really old set. Okay, one of the big daddies of the Christmas year. I got one more. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Here it is. It's basically the same thing I showed you for state coins. So, I'm not going to really get into too much detail. They're just state coins with a quarter state coin. Okay. And it... Oh. Sorry about that. It's hard to get this thing out. There's gold coins and silver coins in here. And I think there's like seven different bags. There's more state coins. Uh, uh, silver and a few gold. More silver gold. More silver gold. And these are plated, not real. Silver and gold. These are plated coins. And then, this is the bag. Here, there's more. And I think that's it. And there's one more. And then the official bag. Is. And then, these are all gold-plated. Those are all gold-plated. So, I received about, I think that's about two to three hundred coins in golden, gold-plated and silver-plated coins. And I think I received about 150 state coins. Uh, after this, I want to show you one more thing, and that's in the corner. Okay. Okay. And I received some. This is, a. these are Christmas money gift. I, um, got some $2 bills for Christmas. I got... Seven of them. My father had these in his collection, so he's gonna give me his collection. Uh, I think I have a silver dollar in here. Silver certificate. Yeah, here it is. I like silver certificates. I'm like really proud of them. Uh, and then this is the rest of my money. Here's a check by George Bill, and then the, then the, just the rest are dollar bills. But I think I received a total of a uh, hundred and nine dollars. I have $109 in non-spending and spending money. If you take the spending money up, that's like 69 in non-spending money. Uh, one last, the second to last, the third to last item is a big one. It's this complete statehood quarter collection of Franklin Mint. And it's all gold plated coins. And look what it requires. It requires a key. Uh, I hate this. 
it opened? Oh. Sorry, this is really difficult to operate with one hand. There we go. So you can get inside. And then see, it's unlock. Turn this key back, I think. Now it's locked. So this key belongs here without the thing on it. But this one is the thing that belongs there. Oh yeah, these doors don't lock. Let's see. It's locked. Yeah, these don't lock. But that's a reasonable thing. So we got a couple more things to show you. Okay. I also got this shirt for Christmas from Belfast, England. Here's a 13 colony collection with that sticker. That sticker. Okay, now it's much better. It's a 13 colony collection. Now let's go inside. Oh, Jesus, really. It is really good. It's a 13 colony statehood coins. And here it is. It shows you a map of the 13 colonies. I actually built an interstate from here in Florida, like down further in Florida, all the way up to about here, New Jersey. I built an interstate in my game. That's where my earlier video about Interstate 95 is. Oh, in the back they show you your flags. Of back then. Of, this is, uh, this is our nation's flag, actually. Join or Die, Grand Union, Betsy Ross, Culpepper, Guilliford, First Official U.S. Flag, Serapis, and a 50 Star Flag. This is our official flag today, but this is our evolution. This is made by Benjamin Franklin. My teacher has one in her classroom. Okay. Here's a big... Here is... We'll get to this one next. Here's a little eagle thing with the flags. This came in the case. This came with the case. Oh, I guess we'll stick with the case. Next is a Claude Giroux. This is also about hockey, so I received two hockey things and other thing is about coins. Here's a Claude Giroux uh, Flyers um, figure, Vignal figure. Uh, pop hockey. Uh, let's see. Number 33 is Claude Giroux. So you see the number right here. And then there's a list on the back of players' names. I think the one I want is number 36, Mark Andre Fleury. Because, um, he plays for um, Las Vegas. Until the other guy came in. Uh, he still plays as a goalie, I think, in Las Vegas. And. But the other guy, Malcolm Subban, he's not having a good, he's not having a good time in Vegas. Okay, the last official thing is the, the uh, complete American Statehood Quarter Collection. Let me actually get a water cup of this. So here it is. It color codes the states by year. So see, this is by year. And then it color codes them down here. By, um, by, here's the year. And then by state, it shows you by state what the color of the state is. So, here, here's 90, 95 goes up to here. Interstate 10 goes across the country to here. I'm planning on building a bridge to here. So, yeah, here's the bottom. It's actually a good set. So, I'm going to show you what it actually looks like this set. Plus the shirt. That's the other thing. Okay. Uh, here. So, here's the complete set of the entire thing. It's probably my best Christmas ever. So, okay. Here, I'll show you one here. Here's outside. No white Christmas again for the fourth year, for the fifth year in a row. So, I wish you Merry Christmas. And then now it's on to New Year's. Happy second anniversary. Bye.